The first thing that we should begin with is the fact there is no best exercise that you must have in your program at any given one time. For example, you do not need a squat to get big legs, the same as you do not need to do barbell bench to get a big chest. Overall, these exercises can be said they will build you big legs or a big chest as they are great exercises and a good choice to put in your program. However, to say they're the best exercise to do this is just wrong. Of course they can and they will build you muscle, but so could a leg press and so could a dumbbell bench press. All of them are good exercises at certain points in your program. You could make the argument that to get big legs you would probably want a squat variation such as a barbell squat, hack squat, pendulum squat but even then you still don't need them as you can easily grow huge quads just by doing exercises like leg press and leg extensions as long as you execute the exercises correctly with proper form and you're progressively overloaded. However, the majority of the time, it is usually a good idea to have a squat variation in your program as they are an easy way to progressively overload. The same can be said for chest, back. You probably want to have a chest press variation, but that chest press variation doesn't need to be barbell bench. It can be flat press, it can be machine. And by doing a machine chest press, you could get similar, if not better results. Same can be said for back or lower back and glutes and hamstrings. You don't need to be doing deadlifts, but you could make the argument that you'd want to hip in your program. RDL, SLDL. The point I'm trying to make here, that in your training program, the best exercise for a certain muscle group will change over time, usually over a period of a few months. This could be up to a year in some cases, if you find a really good exercise and you can continually run it and keep progressing on it for a long period of time, such as a squat, as you can keep progressively overloading that. Almost every single session, you can add 2.5 kg to the bar. But if you're doing dumbbell bicep curls, it may be as little as a month until you stole on it. So you're gonna have to change it out for preach curls or something like that. An example of changing our exercises is if you're following a push-pull legs routine and when you start the program you begin with a flat barbell press when you first start on week one you find that you feel your chest really well it's really good on the joints and doesn't hurt them you enjoy the movement and you're able to continually progressively overload it you could say at this period of time the best chest exercise for you right now is the barbell bench press. However, a few months down the line, you just aren't getting the same benefits you used to get at the start of the program. You do not get any mind-muscle connection in the chest or any tension through the chest, but you feel it mainly in your triceps, your wrists, and your shoulders. Your wrists and shoulders are also starting to hurt when you do this exercise, and it ruins the rest of your push workout as your joints hurt for the rest of the workout. The movement at this point is stale, and it is impossible to progress at all. Now the flat barbell press would not be the best exercise. Instead, what I would do is switch out the barbell press to the, the newest best exercise if you're at that point in time. This could be flat dumbbell press, machine press, smith press, any other chest press. Just use the exercise that you get the best connection with and doesn't injure you and you can progress. You'd run this new best exercise just like you did with the flat barbell and once this does the same thing, switch it out like you did before. And that is how you find the best exercise or close to the best exercise for you to get the most muscle growth possible. If you find that the majority of your lifts are starting to begin to stall and in some cases regress, I would not switch them out like this. Instead, what I would do is take a deload. What a deload is, is basically a week off from the gym and a week rest in one way or another. This will give your body time to recover physically and also mentally so that when you come back in the gym in around a week's time, you'll be fresh and this will allow you to progress all your lifts again for a few more weeks or in some cases months. The exercises are easy to do and doesn't require any significant energy like bicep curls or tricep extensions. You are likely to find that these exercises will stall a little bit more quicker or progress slower. This is probably because the weight jumps are too significant to do. An example of this is if you're doing 5kg lateral raises and you up it to 7.5kg. From just one dumbbell up this will be a 50% increase in weight. So your reps are probably going to be cut in half and then the reps will be so low that you're not able to add reps over time because the weight's too heavy. So you've kind of fucked yourself up there because you can't go forward. So you're going to have to go back down. So instead what I'll do is just do more reps until you feel like the next weight progression up. You can do at least 10 reps with good form.
as when you do up the weight, the reps will be high enough so you can continue adding reps to progress. So if you started at 7.5 kg for 10 reps, you can continue working your way up to 20 reps and then you can up it to 10 kg. Instead of doing 7.5 kg for 10 reps and then up in the weight to 10 kg and you only get six reps and then you can't up the weight because then you'll go and get three reps, but you also can't add reps because the weight's too heavy. That is everything we will cover in today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.